Hey beautiful people, I'm Monica. Welcome back to my channel, A Mama with Monica, encouraging others through the word of God. Today's encouraging video is about shining your light wherever God has placed you. This season has been a tough season. That's why I've been so inconsistent, but I'm definitely getting back into it. And once this video is done, I will definitely be working on uploading more videos and being consistent with the gift God has given me. And so this season has been a season of god revealing to many of his um people that it's time for us to no longer conform to the ways of this world for us to be transformed we are new creations in christ right so we have to be transformed we have to live by the word of god we have to be an example to the world to the world um as we live for jesus and so it's no longer a, a season of compromising the gospel, compromising the word of God. It's time to live this out for the whole world to see, to give all glory to God when they see us, when they see the glory of God on us, when they see his presence, you know, on us. And they're like, who is this person? Why is this person always smiling? Why they're so bubbly? Like, who who are you? Like, oh, what? Like, I just need to know you. Like, it's because we're walking in the place of knowing God. We spend time with him. We're in prayer. We're in worship. We're, we're reading the word daily. We're getting what we need to get so that when we go out there, we're empowered and we can empower others and we can encourage others and we can be the light for others to see. And so I just want to encourage you all right now, if you're struggling with being the light in your job, in your, in your school, Wherever it is that God has placed you and you're struggling to be the light because there's so much negativity around you, you know, you see people's faces and they're not so kind or you're new wherever you are like me and everyone's like, who is this person? And um, it's discouraging. It's discouraging when people's face are scrunched up and it's not so nice and inviting. And it makes you feel like, well, I'm just going to be in this corner by myself. I'm just going to be isolated because you know what? This is going to be my bubble. You can't, you can't come to my bubble because I'm not about to deal with this. However, that's not God. And that's not the spirit of God. And God calls us to love others, to share the love that God has given us to other people so that they can come to know him and in doing so this is a part of shining our light so when you see someone come up to you and they have a they have negativity all the time they're always weighed down with their problems they're always they're always coming to you with a face or they can't have a solution they seem like they have no solution and they're weighing you down and then after that conversation you feel like well now I feel negative. Now, now there's no positive for me. Like I can't even look at the good things that God, this life has to offer. I want to remind you to go back into your word and see what God says about being the light wherever you are. It doesn't matter what season, wherever you are, whatever he, wherever he has placed you, he placed you there for a purpose. There's a reason, first of all. And so don't think there's no reason. Don't think there's no purpose. There is. And he placed you there to be the light. Maybe somebody over there needs prayer. Maybe somebody needs you to just hold their hand while they cry. Whatever it is don't let the faces of others don't let those people who the enemy sent um sends to your camp don't let them don't let them take what god has given you and that's power that's authority he has not given you a spirit of fear he's given you the spirit of peace of love of joy share that with the world share that with those in need so in his word he says in john 1 through 5 I mean, John 1 verse 5, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it, right? So although they might try, although people may try, although um, situations may come and rise and it's about, it's of darkness, it's of the enemy, of course, it's not going to extinguish the light because the light is so powerful the light is so it's so magnetic it's so beautiful it shines all right and so in matthew also uh chapter 5 verse 16 in the same way let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven i know it may seem like well god why did you place me in this environment maybe you know maybe it's your family members wherever it is why did you place me here i feel like i can't even i can't even be the light that you want me to be this is too hard i'm not strong enough for this and god is saying no i know your strengths i know who you are 
I just need you to be the light because somebody in there, in that job, somebody in your school, somebody in that grocery store, somebody needs that light. They need to see the glory of God. They need to feel God's presence. They need to know God and God is in you. And so this is the reason. And so let your light shine before men so they can give God all the glory. When they see that you're you're talking, you're talking about God, you're glorifying you're glorifying God in everything that you do. Just yesterday I passed my exam with a 94 and I was like, "Oh my gosh, thank you Jesus." And then I this girl was she came up to me. She's like, "Wow, you did really great." And I said, "All glory to God." And she looked at me and I was like, "Yes, it's all Jesus." <laughs> like you have to give God the glory. You have to you have to let him shine. Although it may seem that people don't understand it, they don't understand you. You may seem weird to them, but you don't compromise your light. You don't you don't try to extinct distinguish <laughs> You don't try to extinguish your light so that people can be pleased. We're not here to please men. We're here to please God. And so when and so if that one person doesn't want it, that's okay. They'll get it another time. God will reach them. It's okay. You're going to move on because you have a mission. Because you have an assignment. Because we have to spread the gospel. And another way to do that is through our actions, being the light. It's not only when we speak a word or when we pray for somebody, but it's what we do. It's in our silence, how we carry ourselves. You know, people are always watching. And so it's just because that one person says no doesn't mean somebody else is going to say no. Be confident that God has placed you where he has for a reason. And it says... You are the light of the world that is set on a hill. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Your light can't be hidden. Shine your light. Don't dim your light. Shine your light. Just when you feel like you're up to here, you've had enough of You've had enough. You're up to here with the negativity. You're up to here with the circumstance. You're up to here with the problem shine your light make a difference in your community make a difference wherever you are somebody is holding on to that somebody needs that and they may not tell you in this season it'll probably be maybe you never know in a year or so but they'll be like thank you i just you encouraged me thank you and that blessed me and you'll be like wow god sent me there for a reason like so continue be strong be be strong understand that god has a plan for you where where you are but be that light be the light someone is watching someone needs you someone is hoping that somebody can come in with joy and be positive they need that positivity they need to not dwell on their problems or their circumstance they need to know who this awesome god is that we serve this amazing god who gives mercy and grace they need to know the joy of the Lord. And so I just wanted to bless you guys with this word because it has definitely been a lot um, of changes. But one thing that God has continued to tell me is be the light. Be the light. Point blank, period. Don't let anybody shift you. Don't let anyone distract you. Be the light that God called you to be. I hope this message blessed you. And I was really quick. I am definitely going to be running to go to my class and get myself together. Dunkin' Donuts, okay? <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts, after a long day of working, then you have to go to class, and class ends at 10 p.m. tonight. But I wanted to share this word because it's definitely needed in this season. Don't compromise. Don't conform to the ways of this world. Be transformed. Know that you are a new creation in Christ and that you need to shine your light. You need to shine your light. Don't dim it for anybody. Don't dim it. Don't let others' negativity get to you. Believe that God has called you for such a time as this. Love you guys, praying for you, and thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share so somebody else can be blessed. And see you guys next time. Bye. They say picture perfect, filter through your thing. They flow in lies, make this young